All right, so we're done with the install actually, and then we're gonna look at the final product and then you're gonna see the, the steps I took to, to get everything installed. So we're under my truck here and you can see the, the components of the kit from Torch Off-Road that we installed. We've got a new leaf, there's the add a leaf there, a uh, brand new Torch Off-Road extended U-bolts to accommodate the extra height comes with all the hardware and then also we've got an axle shim plate there that sits between the uh, the axle and our and our leaf pack and it uh, changes the angle given the extra height that we added so the pinion angle uh, it's a two and a half degree shim so everything that you need to do the install is included in the kit very nice kit um, which was packaged well arrived quickly and safely and the end result is awesome we're going to be installing the torch at a leaf kit and extended u-bolts and shim on my 2006 toyota tundra and my truck's got 192,000 miles on it so the original leaf springs were a little bit low so we're sitting right about 37 in the back 37 and 3 eighths, 37 and a half in the front. I have a Tough Country rear bumper that I installed, which added a bit more weight over stock. So this guy's gonna sit down a little bit more. All right, we are ready to get started on this. I got the truck backed up in the garage. What we're gonna first start by doing is jacking up the rear end and we're gonna put the my jack stands on underneath the frame got the jack here that we're gonna go underneath the uh, rear diff and then once we get that jacked up we'll take the rear wheels off and then drop the whole thing down onto the jack stands all right so we've gone through the first couple of steps of the process here we've uh, I put wheel chocks in front of the front tires um, so the vehicle won't move we've uh, we've lifted the vehicle and we've put in our, our jack stands here <clears throat> we've supported the uh, the rear differential with our with our floor jack here. Now we're gonna have to remove the the shocks on both sides, just the bottom mounts. So we got the U bolt off. I'm gonna keep it in the orientation that it goes on there. All right, I got that bolt out. Just needed my breaker bar, uh, and I was able to to pop that out. We are gonna use that. Again, so I'm gonna put it off to the side. Now we can pull this shock out and we can um, start to disassemble this, this leaf pack. Basically, I've got the add a leaf here and my original springs. Here's my overload. And I've got the this uh, bolt that I'm working through and I'm just tightening down the C-clamps here, closing the gap here and then tightening the bolt down and we'll torque it to 30 foot pounds once uh once the gap is closed all right so we got this all compressed back together this is the new torch at a leaf here and this is the shim which is goes um, between the leaf pack and the the axle there's a pin in it i'll grab the other one so there's a pin here and it goes underneath the overload spring. And the important thing to know is the um, skinny end goes towards the front of the car. So at this point, we're ready to put the new shackles on, the new U-bolts, uh, and, uh, and get this side tightened back up. All right, the bump stop is back on and the new extended U-bolts are on here. And now we're going to bolt this back up and That'll be the end of this side, and then we'll go over to the next side. All right, so this spring is all compressed, and I've got the uh, the bolt tightened down. So I use the C-clamps to keep drawing this in, drawing this in, tightening, drawing, tightening, drawing, tightening. Once there was no more gap here and I couldn't compress anymore, I used my torque wrench with a 14 millimeter bolt to torque this down to 30 foot-pounds. Then we put the shock back in, and uh, tighten that down to the factory spec 
And now we're gonna be ready to cut this bolt so the bump stop fits over it. And then we will be ready to mount the uh, the U-bolts and be good to go for this side. All right, bolt is cut off right above the threads here. And then the factory bump stop fits right on there. Now we will attach our new U-bolts and we will torque those down. Once we get those starting to get tight, we'll cut off the extra threads and then torque that down to factory spec. All right, we got the U-bolts kind of tightened up. And then one thing I've had to do is come down here and um, after I get the bolts snugged up, I cut these guys uh, to length, cut about an inch of the bolt off so that I can get my impact wrench up there and torque drive, or uh, torque wrench up there and uh, tighten these to spec. So these are now cut to the right length and we're gonna go ahead and torque these. All right, so we are all torqued down, new leaf in there, everything's torqued back to specs. Uh, now it's time to lift the back end up again, and we're going to mount the wheels, torque them, and then we'll let everything down and take a final measurement. All right, we just dropped the truck down and ready for a measurement. We are 39 and a quarter, and just about 39 and, and a half, 39 and 3 eighths. So mission accomplished awesome little kit pretty cost-effective way of giving your truck a lift we're gonna clean up here and give it a test spin around the block drive it for about 10 to 15 miles and then I'm gonna double check all of the u-bolts for torque and the rear suspension for torque just to make sure everything's good and uh, we'll come back after after 15 miles. Couldn't be happier with the result. Nice, even gaps for the fenders. Nice, almost two inch lift in the rear to match the front and a nice rake front to back. So just an awesome kit for upgrading your, your Tundra and get it lifted um, or restoring back that factory, that factory level. Um, yeah, couldn't be happier.